to an explosive meeting in Wyandotte. Pairs fed up questioning how a man now accused of sexually assaulting kids was allowed near children even as parents voiced their concerns. The board is now opening an independent investigation. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is joining us live with more on this. And Matthew, what's the district saying right now? Well, not a lot, at least not on camera. Uh, after this meeting wrapped up, both the superintendent of the district and the principal of Monroe Elementary declining to talk with 7 Action News. But the outcome of this meeting is that they are going to launch an independent in investigation into their volunteer practices, how they let people come into the school and work with children. But let's take a step back and look at what has everybody so upset, how this actually developed into the situation that we have now. Michael Beebe was a volunteer inside the elementary school through a program known as Dad of great students. He'd been volunteering for years. We now know that Bibi was being investigated by police and has recently been arrested on 15 charges of criminal sexual conduct with minors. But parents say they were always suspicious of him. And when they looked into him, they themselves found out he had a felony record, leading them to question why in the world he was ever allowed near their children. But as far back as 2018, we know the parents had concerns because they actually wrote an anonymous letter to the school district, which led for him to not be inside the classrooms, to not be inside the school. They revoked his privileges to be a volunteer but they still say that they should have known more about them. So roughly 16 months ago, we know these complaints rolled in. The mother that wrote that letter now speaking out, questioning how this could happen and why that man was ever allowed near her kid. As a parent, I was quite concerned that she was allowed to walk past this and they allowed it in the school. It makes us sick. It, it you know, it wasn't right, that's why I wrote the letter. It's important to note that his criminal record was not tied to the types of allegations he's now facing, but nonetheless, parents are upset. They question how they were able to figure this out and still allow him inside the classroom. Obviously, now it's something that's being reviewed as they look into how they do those volunteer practices. That's what this investigation is gonna be about, but clearly, parents don't think that it's enough. If nothing else, they say it's too little, too late. We are live this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.